Alrighty, so I had an idea and I looked it up because chips, when you put them in the oven, um, if you put them on the baking tray, the bottom ends up really cooked unevenly and the top not so well because it doesn't really circulate that well. And then the grids thing that you get to put the things on, they're just too far apart to really put chips on. Now, looking it up, it turns out that maybe something similar to it already exists. So I went on eBay and I got one of these, which is a um, fiberglass cooking sheet, which you can put your chips on. And it's, they're close enough together, but I couldn't think of the exact proper word there, that the chip won't fall through it. The trouble is, it's a flimsy fucking piece of shit. It says that it's 69 cents, yet I've paid like three quid or something for it. Pathetic. eBayers, I hate eBayers. Why even tell me the price of it? And I really thought it'd be more stable than that. Because what I had in mind is something solid that you could pick up out the oven that isn't just going to flop and drop all your chips on the floor. Because that's what that's going to do. And also, you know, it's got sides. It looks like it's got sides, but then they just flop. And, you know, it's like they're not really good. Anyway, I will be trying it out with uh, the McCain signature chips, the gastro chips, the chunky ones. They are meant to be fried, but since they've changed the home fryers, home chips, they, they just don't cook as good, even if you take care to cautiously balance them between the two chicken gaps. But I'm going to be putting them in this now. Let's just. The advantage is you don't need to sit and puff about for ages. The trouble is that it's totally going to collapse the instant I fucking try and carry that anywhere. <laughs> Unless I really, really put a lot of effort into making sure that it doesn't collapse out. That the instant I pull that out of the oven with an oven glove, because unless this is not going to carry heat, which I doubt. <laughs> It's just going to drop everything everywhere, and you're going to still have to take it the entire thing. But the advantage is I don't have to sit for hours fucking going place to place to place to perfect, especially with ones like this that are maybe just barely going to go over the huge size. But these cook really good in the oven, so give them 20 minutes on 200, 25 minutes. They come out nice and nicer than the home fries have been coming out. The home fries, which are now home chips. What have you done to them, McCain? You've, you've kind of ruined them, but these, these are fantastic. And I got them for <laughs> pounds on the market for 2.5 kilos. <laughs> Bargain! So yeah, I'm going to have these and some steak and, you know, we will see how they turn out. See you in a bit. Okay, so they're crisped up pretty nicely. They are looking very good. I've put some salt and pepper on them. The bottom... Hmm. The bottom is not as ideal as the top on some of them, so it still doesn't, but it's a bit better than... How they turn out if you don't, you know, put them on that. If you put them on a baking tray, the bottom becomes really, really weird. But they're a bit softer, so, you know, maybe if you shake them about a bit in the process. I didn't shake them about, so I just left them to cook from top to bottom, because... You'd expect it to be circulating the heat as it's meant to, but again, it's not really ideal. The other problem that I had, taking them out, like I said, the whole thing is um, a little bit wobbly. So, you know, I tried to grab it at the corners and that's where those big circle things that are meant to hold it in shape are. But they carry the heat, so the fog glass doesn't carry the heat, but... The, the big metal circles, they, they hold the heat and, you know, you will burn your fingers a bit on them trying to get it out of the oven, so that's not ideal. And then with it, I've got a, nearly on the floor, <laughs> 21 day matures ribeye steak from Aldi for three quid, you know, I was like, I might as well treat myself. Especially as I've been feeling shit, <laughs> so yeah, a nice little steak treat to go with it. Ideally, I would like to grill it, but the problem is that, um, you know, if you're cooking some chips in the oven and then you want to grill at the same time, you can't really do that, and, you know, so I've oven cooked it, but still. All the flavour to it, pretty good, considering the bargain, so, no, I'm not going to complain at that. 
known everyday essential Aldi lemonades. And for the first time ever, shopping in an Aldi, I wasn't followed around the entire store by some dumbass security guard just because I'm wearing a backpack, so. <laughs> That was nice to not have to be followed around. And then I've got some money which I'm going to chop up in a little bit of coleslaw just to have some healthiness. And, you know, because I don't really eat enough veg. But the chips turned out pretty good, you know. I mean, the fact that it's a saving the hassle of having to balance them largely just to get them to cook okay is the main thing. Sorry, I've still got steak in my mouth. And the fact that the underside doesn't cook that great, you know, I can fix that by giving it a, a good shake-up in the middle of the cooking process. So, you know, it's not something that's completely unavoidable. But, I would adapt it to my idea so that it's actually got a solid metal rim at the top to hold its structure. So that it keeps the shape, so that it's a nice little basket, so that you're not going to lose everything out of it. Or, you know, some thick fiberglass, so that it doesn't transfer the heat. Or, you know, something <laughs> just... A little few modifications and you know maybe I'd use the whole of the bottom base as metal so that it's a solid structure and also it transfers a bit of heat because you know just a few minor things that I would have changed from my idea but considering it already exists and you know apparently 69 cents in America so <laughs> just because I had to pay three quid for it doesn't mean it's a premium product it's something cheap, but still, it's a baking tray with holes in it to separate the heat, which is what I was looking for. So, you know, it was my idea. I was like, well, I'm sick of doing this. Can I invent that? Does it exist? It exists. So I can't make money off it. <laughs> but I can cook my chips and, you know, have less hassle. I'm just painstakingly there in them just to get them to cook properly. <laughs> See you around. Goodbye.